Hello, this is the third in my series of CNC router blogs where I'll show you the process of building a CNC router. I've decided to base my router on the open build C-beam aluminium extrusion which is a type of V-slot extrusion. In this video I'll talk a little about the linear actuator I built and soon I'll upload a separate video showing the build process from start to finish for anybody who wants to follow my version of this design. Whilst the extrusion itself is impossible to make at home and is very reasonably priced from Oozness here in the UK, I've designed my own set of parts based on the open build style parts to transform the C-beam into a linear actuator. That should save me some money and let me make modifications easily if I ever want to. I cut these parts in acrylic on my laser cutter but once it's finished I hope to use the machine to cut new copies of the parts in aluminium. Of course if you're interested in building one of these yourself and you don't have a laser cutter you can always cut my designs on someone else's CNC router or if you know someone with a laser cutter or just order them from one of these sites which let you upload your own CAD designs and uh, get them laser cut and, and mailed to you. The laser cut parts are the gantry plates and the end plates. I've already made a couple of small changes to the open build style parts. I added built-in end stop flags to the gantry plates and incorporated opto end stops into the end plates. I know that opto end stops are supposed to be mounted with the slot at right angles to the direction of motion, but they seem to work okay like this too, and it was a lot easier to fit them into the design this way. The seat beam requires mini V-slot wheels. I got these from AliExpress and I was really impressed by the price and the speed of delivery. They took a bit longer to arrive than if I bought them in the UK, but uh, not nearly as long as I feared. I also saved myself a bit of money on the lead screws. I bought A2 stainless steel M8 threaded rod on eBay, which seems to be straight enough to do the job. Normal zinc plated rod isn't good enough though, it creates too much friction with the anti-backlash unit. The anti-backlash unit is the only part of this which is entirely my own work. It's made from 5mm layers of acrylic. One of them is cut to precisely fit a normal M8 nut. Uh, before cutting the final unit I made a, a testing strip that you can see on screen uh, of slightly differently sized hexagonal holes to find which one fit the nuts I have best. That may differ depending on who made the nuts of course, they're all a bit different. The next layer of acrylic is the one that will transfer the horizontal force of the nuts to the body of the machine. The next three layers have holes in them that will just let a nut move freely inside and there will be a spring trapped between that nut and the force transfer layer. That spring and nut should keep the other nut pressed against the thread of the rod which should eliminate the backlash. The anti-backlash unit slots into the bottom of the gantry plate. That was a quick overview of my laser cut linear actuator. The next video in this series will show you how to build this step by step. Um, if you found that interesting please like, subscribe uh, to see how I get on building the rest of the CNC machine.